This is when we get into the real shitty part. This is all I need as far as supplies are concerned. Now all we need are some queens. Yeah, uh... How about you go Listen. instead? Just how long do you suppose your drug will prevent me from turning into a walking corpse? During my research, I was never able to conduct proper clinical studies. To a certain extent, the period of effectiveness depends on each patient's physiology. It could be a year, maybe only a week. There's no way to tell for sure. Fantastic. So, I'll be a walking zombie time bomb. A time bomb? What? Once the drug's development was complete, Carlito poured his energy into starting an NPO dedicated to helping war orphans. We had 50 doses of the drug prepared. Not long after that, the NPO managed to find homes for a large group of children. Want to guess just how many? See Lisa Jackson number twelve. That's who uh, Nick is supposed to be. I don't know why they didn't just take a name off that list. Are you saying he infected these kids and then gave them your drug? That he made fifty little ticking time bombs? I don't know. I just don't know. It is possible though. Look at this. New York, D.C., L.A. These kids are spread all over the country. If your theory is right, the entire country could be crawling with zombies by now. I don't know what's worse. That we don't know for sure, that we can't warn anyone about this. Well, what we need to do right now is prepare the hormone and get you taken care of. I hate this fucking part of the game. Okie dokie. I should stop starting videos with okie dokie. Because what if this is someone, like, someone just finds this video and they, like, happen to be, like, the biggest fan ever, but then they, they hear me say okie dokie and they're like, man, this guy's a fucking loser. And then they turn off the video. Also, Zombumbos are back. Which means it's going to be easy for us to collect queens. We need to collect ten of them. This is the worst part of the game, in my opinion. It's just really fucking annoying. Uh, I've said it before, but I'll say it again just because it's actually relevant here. Zombies that have their heads up like that are the ones that actually have queens. So... I don't know where the hell the military went to. I saw a little helicopter thing up there, but that doesn't really matter to me. Now what we could do is we could just keep going in and out of this area until we collect enough. But that's going to take a very, very long time. Uh, we are still going to enter in and out of an area, but it's not going to be this one. Ooh, ooh, oh! I'm gonna have to drop quite a lot of, uh, OJ, me thanks. See, this is another area where the small chainsaws would have actually been pretty useful. But, uh, obviously we don't have them anymore. Oh, wait, that guy's got one. Get the fuck out of here. So yeah, I mean, I guess we could go in, and uh, probably the best thing to do would be, I guess, to run them over. But, I don't know. I don't know how the, the queens react when you're in a car. If they, like, disappear or respawn or whatever. 
because there's one there, obviously. There's quite a few enemies right in this general location that have queens. This man. Alright, let's drop... Let's drop all but three. Who else has one? I see that guy over there. Did a queen come out of him or no? Yeah. Who else? That guy's not... Any of you other guys have queens? This guy. Alright, now let's, let's go deposit these. Actually, I guess we could probably just come in here and then exit again. Anybody in here that I can see? Nope, none that I can see. Oh, that guy did, damn it. Fuck, the guy in the ugly shirt did. Right, that guy has one. Get out of here. I don't know, this whole part, like, there's always that one part in a Dead Rising game that I always hate. And it usually happens to be overtime mode. But I think this one's just particularly kind of bad. I think a lot of this game falls apart, like, right at the end. Because, like I said, there's a lot of waiting and a lot of just garbage. And I'm not too big a fan. God damn it. Big old dopes. Why can't I zombie run? Or zombie ride? I think it's because they're on an incline. Oh, fuck yeah. I still can't zombie ride. What the fuck's going on here? Out of my way. That was pretty rough. I didn't want to do that. That was so dumb of me. I like how apparently we're using a clone army, because they all sound exactly the same. I always thought these guys looked like the uh, the Umbrella Special Forces, too. Especially Brock, when he first comes down in that one cutscene. He looks like Hunk. Coffee Creamer is just as good. If not better, but I think it's just, just about as good. So I've got six, uh, six queens. Uh, maybe we could pick up a couple more on the way there, but I think we should be pretty good. That was a that was a nice little haul we got there. Anybody here got a queen? Anyone there? Uh, I don't see anybody. They'll still see you. I think the the military will still kind of be aware that you're there even if you you know hit hit that thing because they're not completely blind they're kind of stupid but they're not completely blind like that guy man if only I didn't throw that one I mean we still ha wouldn't have enough but now, if you want to play it really safe and not go into the maintenance tunnels, you can just keep exiting and entering Carlito's hideout and hope that an enemy spawns with a uh, with a queen. You can also use nectars, which draw out queens. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is also a really stupid part of this, is that you have to keep doing this. Need at least ten. I can't extract enough of the hormone otherwise. Well, let me just make sure that she counts that one. Alright, goodbye, babe. Bye bye. Should I re up on this? Because I don't know if I'm going to need it. Alright, any of you losers out here have a have a queen for me? No. Get the fuck out of here. 
might actually run out of Mega Buster shots. I didn't think that was going to be possible to happen here. I mean, someone in this plaza, there's got to be three zombies with, with queens in them. There's one there. There's one queen. That guy's just itchy. I don't think he has a queen. I don't know if he's tasty, though. I guess I could have went up and licked him to see if he's itchy tasty. There's another one. And yeah, you can also see the queens, like, burrowing into their, their necks. So it's not just, uh, you know, their hands, or their, them trying to claw at their necks. It's also, um, you know, you could see them. Does that guy have a queen? No. His arms were just up like he was giving up. Uh. Is that one that one? Hell yeah. And that's it. We good now. We are officially Gooch. Gooch to go. And we still have, I think, was it like 15-ish hours? So we are completely good. This is, I think, a point of no return. If I am not mistaken. I'm trying to think, like, I don't know if 80 shots is going to be enough. Fucking better be. Okay, I don't want to hear your life story. Oh, I was talking to her with the wrong thing. I tried to give her orange juice. <laughs> like, thanks, Frank. I love orange juice. Does this have pulp? Fun fact, I hate orange juice. I think it's disgusting. But I rely on it so much in this game. So, I respect orange juice. You're gonna inject me with that, huh? Yep, straight up your urethra. Okay, Doc. Let's get this over with. At least I won't have to worry about turning into one of them for a while. Okay. Next on the agenda. Figure out a way to get the hell out of here. While I was isolating the hormone, I managed to identify a pheromone that suppresses the attack instinct in adult parasites. In other words, the zombies don't like the way it smells. If you give me a little more time, I should be able to produce some of this pheromone. They think it smells bad? You think we could use something like that to keep them away from us? We could just walk right past them and get out of here. In theory, yes. Either way, it's certainly better than nothing. There was a cave. Outside, where the helicopter crashed. It was packed with zombies. I mean, shoulder to shoulder. But it may lead somewhere outside. If it works, your anti-zombie perfume, it could keep us safe in that cave. What do you say? You ready to get the hell out of here? There won't be enough of this pheromone to waste it on experiments. We'll only have enough to use it once. Whatever you say. on 
earth could this lead? I don't know. But considering how many of them keep pouring out of here, it must be connected to something. Isabella, look. Any other way out of here is guarded by the military. If we're gonna get out of here and put a stop to Carlito's plan, we've got to go in there. It's the only way. It's not like we're unarmed. We got your smelly perfume, don't we? <sighs> I wouldn't be alive right now if your shot hadn't worked. The perfume's gonna work too. I know it. All right. Let's go. Yeah. My favorite part of this game is how, like, after the game is over, uh, Frank is apparently, you know, he wrote a book about his experience. I want to know just what exactly he included in that book. Did he put, like, and then I went to the roller coaster and there was a clown? And he had a chainsaw? Like, did he r put that in the book? Did he conveniently leave that stuff out? Um, yeah, I would, I would really love to know what, what was included in Frank's book. Oh wait, yeah, I'm supposed to hold her hand. I wanna hold your hand. Come on, Izzy. Yeah, this part's fine. There's not really much to talk about here. I thought that guy had a queen for sure. Rock, rock. This kind of reminds me of, like, Resident Evil 4. Like, with Ashley. Like, oh yeah, Ashley goes over the door and opens it for Leon. I think this is a cool way to, to do this game. They introduce a lot of, like, brand new stuff right at the end, but it's fine. Alright, let's go. That's wrong. Oh, right, Isabella. Can't your AI be nice to me? Okay, well... We're gonna leave, he thinks. This is how I'm gonna do this. This is another one of those situations that was, like, made for the zombie ride. <laughs> Can I leave Isabella behind? I don't know. Oh my god, Franklin. Whew. Where's Isabella? Oh, she's gone. <laughs> I knew I should have saved before we got here. Alright, good enough for me. I'd like to do a zoom in on that zombie's face. He was very concerned. Like, he got real spooked there. That's not what I wanted, damn it. I'm very sorry, Isabella. Much like your deceased brother, I didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah, see, this is, like, honestly, the, the Mega Buster isn't very useful in this part because it's mostly good for, like, single enemies, not gigantic fucking groups. Um, so I guess skill moves are, are pretty good here. I probably should have brought a gun or two, but, yeah, not my smoothest moment, I guess. It was all because I had to restart. You know, small chainsaws is great down here. Um, really, any of the other firearms would have been pretty useful here. Isabella, you're probably going to want to get on over here. <laughs> 
No, I want you to do the lariat, not not that the big old stupid. Hold on, this guy's got a queen. Get out of here, you goof. Oh my god. At least again, I'm showing new stuff. Like this is I've never had this much of an issue while doing this part on one of the videos. I think especially if we're talking about Chop Till You Drop, because I think I had the uh, the Chicago typewriter. God, get away from Isabella. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I almost just threw that right at her. Please make it quick. Actually, we only got this one one gal over here, it's fine. You see those zombies freaking out? Very, very briefly there. It's a rock, Luigi. You didn't make it. Oh, handgun, cool. This is just as ineffective as the um the whatchamacallit. The Mega Buster only more so, because it doesn't kill everything in one hit. Now, if Isabella doesn't, like, warp with me to this next area, I'm gonna be pissed off. Especially because she's in this cutscene. This is my favorite part of Chop to You Drop because they cut that cutscene short because you can't carry her, I think. Alright, here we go. Yeah, see, this is the most smooth part of this entire bit because you don't have to worry about Isabella. You go at your own speed and not, you know, waiting for the AI to catch up, which is nice. And I wish this whole point you could carry her instead of having to hold her hand. Because, you know, the game mechanics of holding the character's hands never fucking worked. I mean, it worked in subsequent games, just not this one. Out of my way. And here we go. And then we were driving away, and there was a big tank. This is the final chapter of his book. Uh, so this is one of those few points that I think was actually better in Chop Till You Drop, just because you had the, the motion controls, which means the aiming was a little bit more accurate. You know, it was more like one-to-one. -one. It, it aimed where, it, like, directly where you wanted it to go. Whereas in this one, it's... A little harder because there's you know a lot of pull on the uh, on the jeep that we're in, but you know it's fine. It just takes forever, and again, like right at the end of the game, they throw you and do a lot of things that were never present in the game before this moment, which I think is kind of silly. 
Like, this part's fine, but the, the final boss itself is way better. I didn't save. Oh, fuck. I didn't save at that rock. I was too worried about Isabella. Mother f that's gonna fuck me so bad. I don't think you really have to worry about them, it's the, the cannon that you really have to focus on mainly. This boss could have been done right now, and I, I would be like, you know what? It was a fine boss. But it just it keeps going. God, hit it. Yeah, they're, they're much more... Ironically, we have much more tank-like controls right now. And I mean, the aiming controls aren't fantastic in this game to begin with. And this is just much worse because they're very sluggish. Alright, I'm not even going to worry about these guys at this point. I say as I shoot them down. Yeah, now I'm not going to worry about taking hits from that because we're just going to finish this. And yeah, how do you like that? We're technically playing as Isabella right now. This is the first time that a female was playable in the series. Hit the like button for gender equality. These automated machines are no use at all on the battlefield. Switch to manual control. men mopped up the mall. On a mission in which the number of targets is unclear, it's difficult to ensure absolute thoroughness. Huh. You have imagination. That's what drives you in your quest to run. Your quest to hide. As prey, you and your kind are much more stubborn than the zombies. How much do you know about the zombies? I commanded the Santa Cabeza cleanup operation. If we had fulfilled our mission then, we wouldn't be needed here now to take care of this... incident. That's all it was to you, huh? A mission. What about those innocent people who had to pay for sins committed by our government our and its inhuman research? Our mistakes have not begun with this operation. <laughs> Humanity has proven itself to be quite adept at making mistakes. Ha! Hell! It's the only thing we truly excel at. Well then, I'd say this mission isn't quite over yet. Don't you agree?
Now, who the fuck knows why, but Frank gets rid of everything he had on him, which is just great. It's really just fantastic, as Frank would say. Uh, now, Brock, you have to fight using nothing but your, uh, your skills. He can be kind of annoying, uh, but I'm a level 50, and I have, you know, all of the, the, the moves, so I should be fine, in theory. Of course, uh, you know, now he's gonna be an issue now that I've said that. Uh-oh. So that's his neck breaker. He can, like, legitimately just break your neck there. The, uh, the, the thing that I always find is the best thing to use, like, without a doubt, is the double lariat. He will probably block it, but it does just do away with his health. Ouch. <clears throat> this is also kind of better in uh, Chop Till You Drop, because it, it's kind of more of a, like a CQC fight. You know, it's not just you doing this stupid nonsense. Fuck you. Hold on, what's a good move I want to finish him on? It's the double lariat, I don't care. <laughs> And with that, Sigma, I mean, Brock is done, and we have finished Dead Rising X. Now we get my favorite credit sequence in any video game. This is uh, Justified. It's a very good song that I like a lot. But yeah, there you go. That's um, that is Dead Rising X, or you know, just Dead Rising. One of my most favorite games of all. Oh my God, Bill Farmer isn't. Who does he play? Bill Farmer is um, Goofy. <laughs> But yeah, this is just one of my favorite games of all time. I think that goes without saying. And I will play this game basically at any chance that I get, which is why it has appeared yet again on this channel. Although I will say, I think this is my favorite time that I played this game. Oh my god! Bill Farmer was Cletus! I did, I've been playing this game. See, you learn something new every day. I can't believe that. That's goofy. Wow. But yeah, um, I think this might be my favorite time that I played this on the channel. Uh, you know, it's in good quality. It's in nice 1080p. Um, I did, you know, kind of a challenge run. Oh, Ruben Langdon did that. Uh, motion capture, that's nice. <laughs> that's Dante. Yeah, Dre, Dre Gunner is the, uh, the one that did that. Blame It on the Cold One is on the soundtrack, and it's, it's on the disc, and it doesn't play a single time in this game. I dare you to find that song in this game. It's like this awful, um, like, country song. It, I swear to God, it appears nowhere in this game. But yeah, um, I liked, you know, saving the survivors in this one. That was fun. I just, I had a lot of fun with this one. You know, it wasn't as serious as any of the other times I played. I just kind of, 
kind of got to sit back and play one of my favorite games of all time. If I ever do revisit this one, it'll probably I'll try and do like an infinity mode or I'll do a run through where I ignore the story completely and do an actual survivor run, which is actually a nightmare, but maybe it'd be fun to do. Um, I'll probably not do another Dead Rising game immediately, but when I do, this time I promise it will be Dead Rising 2 off the record. You know, revisit that one on the PS4. But yeah, I want to thank you very much for watching. I had a lot of fun. Um, Lost Planet, finally they made that backwards compatible on the Xbox One. And you can expect me to do that at some point probably this year. Because that is another really fun game that was made, I think, basically alongside this one. So, anyway, I want to thank you very much for watching. I enjoyed myself. I hope you did too. And uh, I hope you will enjoy Resident Evil 5 and uh, Spider-Man when that returns. So, I will see you next time.